Hi everybody, this is Mike Hamilton from Trade the Easy Way with the midweek update. So the big question that I'm going to answer for you this in this very short video is are pullbacks still viable? Uh, we have the US earnings season well underway. The banks are putting in the best <coughs> results since 2010. But you know, the markets are high and yeah, we are getting some concerns about rising inflation and rising rates. But the main focus is going to be on tomorrow's weekly jobs. You know, is the jobs picture still improving for the US? And you know, can these US highs be sustained? So let's go and look at the markets. Starting with the daily NASDAQ, so we've just got a natural pullback here. You know, we've got extended in the MACD um, and a degree of divergence up here as we were getting making higher highs, the, MAC, the histogram was coming off and now we're under the midline. Uh, but the main issue with these markets is the, the distance from some of the basic averages. This is a 20 day average down here. So all we're doing is coming back to reconnect with some of this um, boom up here. Once we've reconnected, I think we can then resume the uptrend and potentially get up to as high as 14 and a half before seeing a potential pullback. Now on Sunday, I'm doing a big picture update and uh, talking about the second half of the year as we get towards the back end of April into May, sell in May and go away. Yeah, are these markets cooked? Are they overdone? And you know, are we due for a decent correction? How to play the coming weeks and months is going to be really important to your portfolio and your day trading potential. All right, so we're coming back on ourselves, um, pulling back as we get towards the US job numbers tomorrow. Now in a bull market such as this, uh, in answer to the question I posed at the beginning, are these pullbacks viable? Yes. And it could be, I think the litmus test is going to be tomorrow's job numbers. Now, can we pick up the, after this pullback and then finish the week well above this 890? So this 890 is the real test. We closed above it last, last week. Last time we closed underneath it, we shot up. So we've closed underneath it again. But uh, with this reconnect, we've got the potential to get back up and start to run. So that's the NASDAQ. Let's look at the Dow. So same story in the Dow. In the trading room, we were short the Dow on the Monday, but it picked up and sold into the Asian period. Um, so again, we are... There's a major breakout area, 33.5. So I wouldn't be at all surprised to come and see 33.5. We're currently 33,800. Uh, it's just a question of whether that is going to potentially pick up uh, after a potential another down drop. So we've got a new high, all time high up here, a significant close under this trend line. Uh, but I think we are, we've still got another leg left in this market, I think. And so I'll be looking to see if we can come in and contact with 33 and a half and a hold and then start to march to the upside. Like I said, tomorrow jobs could be key. The DAX moving along to the European markets. So a lovely push up on Friday, weakness on Monday and a big pullback yesterday on Tuesday. But all we're doing is coming back into support. Uh, look at this average down here. This 89 day average is miles away. Uh, we've closed underneath the 20, but we're just reconnecting again with the potential of the 15,000. We're just 150, 130 pips above the 15,000. So if um, if we get some further dips, reconnect with this breakout, then I think we can push higher. Um, but if we can't get through, if we struggle up here, then I'm going to get short and stay short because uh, if that bounces up there we could then start to see a correction in this early part of it, you know in this part of the cycle basically 
So that's what I'm going to be talking about on Sunday. I'm going to talk about you know where are we in this big cycle in the big picture. And so uh, I'll make sure you get the link for that, and then you can join me for a good uh, 90 minutes grafting as we look through that. Let's just look at the volatility index. So you can see this index is picking up. It was uh, yeah, exceptionally quiet, exceptionally low. And just like any other technical chart, you know, if you start to see some divergences and reversals, then this will react and perk up. So all we're doing is coming off of this sleeping pattern here and perking up and giving us some increasing volatility, which is good for day traders, good for all traders. I mean, some of the most profitable periods are going to be correct after corrections. You know, buy low, sell high. These markets have been sitting up high for quite a while now, um, getting ever, getting to ever giddier heights. So as we're getting into earnings season, we're seeing some money coming off the table, basically, short term. Right, moving on. Uh, this is the daily FTSE. So obviously all the indices, all the markets are coming off. Um, so a very nice run up here. Got too high. 7,000 is a big number, obviously, for the FTSE. So shoved above it, and a couple of days later, we're, we're well underneath it. So all we need to do is wait and see if we can contact with something like 6,800. So we may see some further dips as we reconnect with this breakout area. I, I find this is really common. Um, you know, the markets like to come and hunt. It's, it's, a, it's called a boomerang trade. You, know, you bust up, you get a decent three-way move to the upside, and then you boomerang back down to where you came from. And then you potentially do the, to repeat the exercise. Okay, so that's why I'm seeing these as healthy pullbacks, uh, getting ready to potentially you know, buy into these dips. Um, and that could be the case of something like the DAX today. But uh, you know, look, after a big drop to the downside like that, I don't want to suddenly um, start picking up the longs. What I do want to do is be patient and wait for full um, pullbacks into support. Gold, uh, you know, we're very bullish in gold ever since we started to see this, this pattern. So I started to buy this pullback here, saw that shoot up last week. So all we're doing is just consolidating here. So we may come back to 1750, 1760, uh, but at the moment I'm still buying um, short dips intraday and seeing if we can get at least some um, some further upside. Just look, we've not tested 1800 yet, so I'm waiting for that to to build and come up and test it. Okay, so I'm even buying. Um, you know, sort of a decent move overnight into the Asian market. We've dipped into yesterday's support, so even now I've just gone back in long on the futures market to see if we can um, push higher. Now I'm, I'm aware that we've got this. Let me come out of this. Uh, we've got the 20-day average right down here, and we're just knocking our heads against the 89-day average. So this is a strong. I like the 89-day average. You can see that in previous attempts to break through the 89-day average, we've needed. You know, we've gone through it, and we needed a pullback, you know, another run up at it before we can um, get up there. So that pattern is what I'm potentially looking at here. It didn't work here. I'm just looking to see if. Uh, we can you know, just come back and fight and ping up at least into 1800. Longer term, I um, expect to see 1900 plus. Okay, inflation in the US is looks as if we are heading for 2% plus, and 90% of the gold is related to inflation. Well, so with um, invents today and jobs tomorrow. Uh, I'm liking this chart a lot. Um, yeah, this is a lovely uh, retracement pattern here. It's a cup and handle. There's the cup, and here's the handle. So if we can come back and reconnect, look at how these averages are coming together. If we can come back into this area, again, the boomerang trade would take us back to about 61, 60 and a half, $60.50. 
Uh, and potentially, I think we've got another leg coming up that's going to take us in, but maybe as high as 70 up there. Maybe. So let's see if that plays out. I'll be looking, I'm going to start to buy dips as we get uh, through invents and uh, out the other side of that, and we'll see what the market is going to do to react to that. All right, you can see why inflation is picking up. I mean, if you look at this oil, this is a huge ball flag. Um, so we've come from you know negative oil right up to uh, 68 bucks. Uh, and now we've broken out of this pattern, uh, we look higher. So that's why I'm uh, so bullish is this commodity market, and that will feature in the Sunday review as well. So last week's uh, chart of the week was POG, <coughs> and here we are at 27. So again, this is a, a lovely pattern, huge push up here. July last year into 42. So July this year, maybe we'll do the same again. Maybe not. But at the moment, we are uh, coming out of this lovely pullback area here. So this massive double bottom, head and shoulders, shoulder, head, shoulder. So here's the neckline. So we're just you know, bumping into the neckline and pulling back at the moment. If we can sustain this 25, 27 level, uh, and ultimately break through the 30, then we can go on a little run. 30 is going to be tough for it. I think we're going to need another run up to 30. I think I can see us getting into 30 and potentially pulling back to 27, 28, and then we might uh, push up. So that's the kind of pattern I'm looking for here to see if we can end up the year, or at least end up into the summer towards that 35, 40 plus mark on POG. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm not. I'm looking for uh, strong stocks that are sustaining these levels in this pullback. So I'm looking for strength in a weak market. And once we get the correction going, we should talk about that on Sunday, I'm going to be looking for the weakest stocks in the weakest markets. So at the moment, um, yeah, POG to me is all setting up in a market that is getting bought, i.e. the metals and gold, and looking to see if that one can push higher. Right, that's it for me. Um, what I'm looking for is, uh, okay, so on Sunday at six o'clock, you come onto tradeeasyway.com, go onto the home page, and just scroll down and you'll find the events page. You know, what are the challenges for you? Page, click on that and scroll down and register for Sunday here and join me at six o'clock if you're available and um, look forward to seeing you so take it easy keep your powder dry and let's see if we can um, get a good finish to this week on uh, after some further pullbacks all right happy trading